next issue will, you will often encounter is that of comparisons. So, in comparisons, for example, I am not as tall as my mother, or I earn more money than does my sister, what you need to, to, to look at whenever you see a comparison is that the correct idioms are used. More than, as tall as. The greater the challenge, the more exciting the rewards. Also, you should check for the logic of the comparison. Don't compare things that are not logically comparable. And we often do this in English because we're a bit lazy. We tend to, sh to shorten expressions or lose track of the comparison because our sentence is so long. Make sure that the comparison is clear, that there's no ambiguity. And look for what we call parallel structure. In other words, identical structure of the two things being compared. For example, the birth rate is now half as high as 1997. So what are we comparing here? The current birth rate with a year? That doesn't make sense. We should compare birth rate with birth rate. So the best thing to do is to say the birth rate is now half as high as it was, as it was, in 1997. My favorite are comparisons that begin with like or unlike. Going back to the modifying phrases that we just saw a few minutes, uh, that we have just seen. Unlike polar bears, the diet of black bears, hmm, let me see, we're comparing polar bears with the diet of black bears. Nope. We should compare polar bears with black bears or the diet of polar bears with the diet of black bears. So we could say, unlike polar bears, black bears have a diet or unlike that of polar bears, the diet of black bears to make sure that the comparison is clear. There are three, time, three million children in today's elementary schools more than three times as many than, oof, I can't even say that properly, as many as. All right. Now, this more than three times as many does not refer to elementary schools. So perhaps it would be a good idea to say the country's elementary schools have three million children more than three times as many as they had in 1947. Make sure that this refers clearly to the noun before it, if at all possible. So watch these expressions. We, we don't say as contrasted with China or with India. We say in contrast with India. or in contrast to India. In contrast with India, where hundreds of high-tech jobs have been founded in the last, high-tech companies have been founded in the last 10 years, the Chinese manufacturing sector, mm, I don't want to compare India with the Chinese manufacturing sector. I would want to say China China has a manufacturing sector that has provided, or that has recently provided, so don't compare India with the Chinese manufacturing sector. Compare India with China, or the manufacturing sector in India with the manufacturing sector in China, or the Indian manufacturing sector with the Chinese manufacturing sector. All right. Now, the next, this next one here, fields like engineering and medicine, just a little note here, never use like, which means similar to, to give examples in formal written English, and certainly not in the GMAT. Much better to say, 
fields such as engineering and medicine offer great prospects, whereas young people studying history and art, oof, I don't like this comparison. We're, com we're comparing fields such as engineering and medicine with young people studying history? Nope. Better to say, whereas history and art after the coma. All right. And here's my favorite. One that's very, very ambiguous. Or two that are very ambiguous here. Let's have a look. According to re recent, recent research, teenagers are less likely to trust politicians than their parents. Now this is a typical ambiguous sentence. Does it mean teenagers are less likely to trust politicians than trust their parents? Or does it mean teenagers are less likely than are their parents to trust politicians? Either of those two sentences are clear, but this sentence, as it's written, is not clear. So, reject that in the GMAT exam. All right. Few people are more concerned about the effects of global warming than America's youth. All right. Now here, few people are more concerned about the effects of global warming than about America's youth. In other words, two different concerns. Or do we want to say than are? America's youth. In other words, comparing America's youth with, with other people. So again, watch the ambiguity and look for a choice that clarifies the meaning. 